Iga, big bad Iga on full display today. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Get Energy. I give you the rundown in 60 seconds or less. Iga is on one today. Did you see her miss that drop shot and look at her camp? She is furious. She made Belinda wait at the net. She does not care. Listen, I'll be honest with you. I like Savage Iga. I, I really do. Now, a, a lot of people give her a bad rap on grass. You know, they say, hey, she's a horrible grass player. The reality here is I covered this last year at Wimbledon. She won Wimbledon as a junior, okay? So she can play on grass, but the problem I think is after she won it as a junior, she did have a foot injury. But this is where the amazing footwork comes from. And this you, this is why you guys got to listen to what I say. I know what I'm talking about here. Iga Fiontech, I tell you all the time, her footwork is the best on tour. But I also tell you she's not the most athletic on tour. What does that tell me as an athlete? That tells me that she wasn't gifted with that footwork. She's worked on that footwork. And a lot of it starts with that injury that she had. She had that foot injury. The road back to getting that foot stronger helped propel her to just having the best footwork she's had in her life. And it came from hard work, guys. Look, I tore my Achilles playing a basketball match. Before I tore my Achilles, I could literally, I mean, I've been jumping well over 10 feet since the age of 12, okay? But the reality is when I tore my Achilles, of course, I went through a, a healing period where I couldn't play. And look, I'll give you the truth. Uh, I was back on the court dunking in four months time. That's right. I opted to not uh, do surgery. Uh, I did a, a lot of natural healing methods, uh, diet, and uh, just focusing on actually, believe it or not, just healing the body and filling it with uh, uh, nutrients. But the reality is I came back jumping as high as I've ever jumped before, and that's after a horrible leg injury. So when Iga healed from the foot injury, guys, she came back and the footwork was amazing. Now, how do I know it's not necessarily natural? By how she covers the drop shots, guys. Iga's best footwork is moving laterally. Her lateral footwork is amazing. But when she needs to stop, cut, and burst forward towards the net to cover drop shots, very slow. She is not faster than Coco Golf, guys. Just There's no integrity with that survey, and I'm probably just going to delete it. You guys are ridiculous. Layla Fernandez, Jill Teichman, these are all players that cover verti vertical uh, balls a lot better than Iga. It Take a look at this. very this awkward is how, uh, ups, look for Sviantec. It's so close Iga's to the net. She can't slow touch the net. vertical balls. I mean, I, I've been showing these videos for a long time. Anyone that watches her play, you know she's not a good net player. She, she does not cover ground fast when we're talking about vertical distance however her footwork that she practices especially playing soccer it's good with lateral movement but you can't teach speed either you have it or you don't her footwork enables her to close out well but playing someone strong and powerful like belinda is frustrating her and you can see it when Iga gets mad mentally she breaks now the younger Iga would just cry much like osaka very sensitive but i felt since she got her mental coach She's been tough, and I do like Savage Ega because you have to be you have to be brutal. You have to be mean on the court. I mean, for crying out loud, the creator of all things is mean, right? He, he, look, look at some of the conditions people live through. So the, the creator is mean himself. So if you want to win matches, you can't just go in there like Coco sometimes and, and just think that, you know, you're going to be the sweetest young girl and you're going to beat your opponents. No, you have to be savage. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, all the greats of any sport or era were savages if you were trying to compete with them. They wanted to take your head up. Wait, wait, guys. Have you seen Iga's Fiontech? Where's she at? This does not look good. Whoa. Did she give up? I'm concerned. That is not a good sight. Set two. Stay tuned. Can Iga Fiontech come back?